Hi guys, this is DPB with a short review of the Redden HD5870. The first DirectX 11 graphics card is available in stores. It is the Redden HD5870. It got 320 shader units and 1GB of GDDR5 RAM. Before I start, just let me say that the HD5870 is a beast. It is awesome. I've tested it with a Core i7-965, the Asus P6-T6, WS Revolution and 6GB of DDR3 RAM. Because until now there are no games available which support DirectX 11, I only tested it in DirectX 9 and 10 mode. I tested it with Crysis, Call of Duty 4, Far Cry 2 and Hawks. The result was that the brand new Redden HD 5870 was much faster and produced much more frames per second than any other graphics card that is available right now. I set the resolution to 1680 by 1050 and it produced about 98 frames and this is just a little bit slower than the GeForce GTX 295 which got a double ship GPU. But the real challenger of the HD5870 should be the single chip GTX 285 which costs about 300 euros. But as you could imagine the GTX 285 has no chance against the brand new Redden. It is about 30% slower than the Redden. The brand new Redden wins this competition clearly. You can play Crisis with all details set to maximum and the predecessor, the Redden 4890, is even about 20% slower than the brand new HD5870. This is enormous. But the Redden is not only fast, it has some great features too. For example, there is one big feature called iFinity. This is the ability to connect one to up to six monitors to your graphics card and use it in a desktop environment or to create an incredible wide monitor resolution to play games in. This is a very nice feature which I think many gamers will use. But now let's come back to the performance. Why is the HD5870 so quick? The answer is quite simple. Often in the past we have seen a new OS released with a new class of DirectX. Typically manufacturers like AT and Nvidia kept performance low and product costs low as well, barely allowing new titles to be played well with their new graphics cards. AT has changed the rules today as the Redden HD5870 has now 1600 shader processes. AT literally doubled up everything inside that GPU and as such we spot a GPU die with 2.15 billion transistors. That's 2150 million transistors. In comparison, the Redden HD 490 has only 956 million. Quite a lot in the architecture of this GPU has changed with one important task in mind. Creating the absolute fastest single GPU based graphics card on the market. The Redden HD 5870 to date will be the world's most powerful GPU pushing more than 2.7 teraflops of computing power. It's the first DirectX 11 GPU on the market and it also comes with a revolutionary energy design as this card's peak wattage is only 188 watts. Another cool point that I have to mention is that this card is absolutely quiet. If you are in Windows mode, you will barely hear it, and even if you are playing games, it is as quiet as the GTX 285, which is very good. The only thing I didn't like was that I had to give this absolutely brilliant graphics card back to my body, but okay, that's life. So if you are looking for a new graphics card, I would recommend you to buy the new Redden HD 5870. If you already have a fast graphics card, I would recommend you to wait until Nvidia has launched their new one as well or until the HD5870 gets a little bit cheaper because a recommended retail price of 399 is quite a lot. Thanks for watching, I'm DPB and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.